Now today we will see DNA extraction. DNA can be isolated from a number of plant tissues. Young leaf tissue is a good source of DNA. First of all, we will take leaf tissue in a tube and frozen using liquid nitrogen. Freezing helps to mechanically break down the cells. A tool resembling a drill is used to pulverize the tissue into a fine powder. A solution containing buffer, salt and detergent is added to the tissue. The buffer and salt helps to stabilize the DNA while the detergent breaks down the cell membrane. Heat helps to disturb the cells so the tissue is incubated at 60 degrees centigrade with frequent mixing. During incubation the contents of the cells are released into solution. This not only includes DNA but also other cellular components that must be separated from the DNA. Chloroform, a solvent, is added to wash away unwanted cellular components. The sample is thoroughly mixed. The sample is spun very rapidly in a centrifuge. Centrifugal force separates the solvent layer from the DNA solution. The upper layer is DNA solution, wherein the lower one chloroform with unwanted cellular components. The DNA layer is removed to clean into a clean tube. Cold ethanol is layered on top of the DNA solution. When the DNA solution is mixed with the ethanol, then the DNA precipitates, comes out of solution. The sample is centrifuged and the solution removed so that only DNA is remaining. The pure DNA is dissolved and is used in molecular techniques like polymerase chain reaction 